Vicarage in the Mirror, a detective novel by my favorite author, Lady Clarissa. For years now, I've been trying to convince my theater group to stage one of her plays. The violinist is a good-looking fellow, and he's traveling through the most beautiful mountain landscape in the world. But one can only hope that his violin is better tuned than he. Hello, sir. Hello. Are you traveling to Istanbul non-stop? No. I'll transfer in Venice to a ship. I'm on my way to Cairo. Cairo? I'm performing at the reception in the Egyptian Museum there. I'm sure your recital will be a great success. But tell me, did you notice anything unusual on the train? Anything unusual? Persons acting suspiciously, for instance. For heaven's sake, is there cause for concern? Everything is in order, sir. We Swiss are just very cautious people. I understand. No, I didn't notice anything. Have a good trip. Thank you. The violinist is a good-looking fellow, and he's traveling through the most beautiful mountain landscape in the world. But one can only hope that his violin is better tuned than he. Very kind of you. Thanks. Oh, oh, pardon me. No, no, no problem. The uniform is waterproof. Uh, Mr. Lucio. Professor Edgar Lucio. Oh, a professor. Are you a scientist? Do you teach at the Sorbonne? No, I work at the British Museum in London. You don't say. So, you were, shall we say, an eyewitness to the burglary two days ago? No, I wouldn't say that. Oh, no? Well, there was a lot of commotion, but I didn't really pay much attention to it. There was a break-in in your museum, and it didn't concern you? Well, let's just say that nothing that's happened in the last 2,000 years concerns me. <laughs> Did you notice anything unusual on the train? Here? On the train? No, I can't say that I have. Although I did spend most of the time in my compartment. I don't want to take up any more of your valuable time. But you do understand, don't you, that what concerns me is the present. And especially the robbery at the museum. Yeah, of course, of course. It's just, I I'm in rather a hurry. You'll get in touch if you notice anything unusual, won't you, Professor? Of course, Constable. What's this? What's the matter, sir? The door. I can't open it. Ah, we'll sort it out somehow. The compartment is locked. But I didn't lock it. I don't even have a key. I asked the steward. He was going to bring me one, but he never came back. Someone locked it. Find the steward. He needs to bring me the key immediately. Calm down, Professor. I'll see what I can do. You don't understand. I have to get back in my compartment. All right. Just wait here. Perhaps a thoughtful conductor noticed that Professor Lucien wasn't in his compartment and locked it. You can easily lock the compartment door from inside by turning a little knob. But I didn't lock it. Professor, if you had locked the door from in there, you wouldn't be out here. Uh, that's true. The door is locked. I'm at a loss without a key or a proper tool.
I don't believe that... It's no use. The bolt is too short to get a good grip on it. The little label on the door reads Baroness von Trebitz. Blue blood on the Orient Express. What is it? Whoever that is, James, ask them whether they found my purse and then closed the door. The noise on this train is driving me crazy. You're missing a purse. Was it stolen? At the very least, I cannot find it, sir. It was stolen. When did you... When was the last time the Baroness saw her purse? What? In Zurich, on the platform, sir. I just asked where you last saw your purse. In Zurich, on the platform. James, tell him that I still had it when I got out to stretch my legs. The Baroness says... Maybe you lost it there. What? The Baroness never loses anything, sir. I never lose anything. Very well, then. I shall be on the lookout for your purse. If I might... I thought he was looking for my purse. James, tell him to look for my purse. The Baroness wishes that you search for her purse. But couldn't we perhaps... <sighs> All right. First, the purse. I... <sighs> I will have a look around. Thank you. Don't believe it. I never thought I'd ever meet you. Uh, pardon me, but uh, we'd prefer... It's all right, Miss Miller. I'd like to speak to the inspector. Unfortunately, just a constable, Lady Westmacott. I'm reading The Vicarage in the Mirror right now, for the fifth time at least. That's nice, Constable... Uh, Zellner. Anton Jakob Zellner. This is my companion, Miss Miller. A pleasure. A passenger's purse has gone missing. I suppose you haven't seen it. I'm sorry, Constable Zellner. As you know, I only deal with murder, not burglary. Have you asked my boy yet? Maddie is good at finding things. I'll go and do that now. As a writer, you must be very observant, am I right? I mean, you have to study the behavior of people around you to create the characters in your novels, don't you? I solved the mystery of human nature a long time ago, Mr. Zellner. Since then, most people just bore me. Really? I had the impression you were eyeing me suspiciously as I came in. What do you want to know, Constable? Did you notice the blonde man with the violin case? Huh. I certainly did. He introduced himself and tried to make a good impression. People like him are drawn to wealth and fame, like moths to a flame. But his charms failed on you. I know him by name. David Kreutzer. He was a drain on my friend's purse. Do you think he has a money problem? People like him always have a money problem. No matter how much you give them, they always spend twice as much and complain that they have far too little. What are you doing here, if I may ask? Are you on holiday? Holiday? Yes, so to speak. The first and last holiday of my life. Madam? I've been writing since I was a little girl. It became my job, and now I've stopped. So, this must be a holiday. You quit writing? Impossible. 
I have all of your books. Your detective part two is my favorite character. Then I have bad news for you. I killed the old wretch off years ago. I... I don't understand. I'd rather not discuss my work, Constable. Oh, well, fine. As much as I like to keep talking, duty calls. You were right. Madam? I did observe you as you came in. You seemed so... eager. I... It's been a long time since I've had a chance to prove myself, madam. And this is it? Your chance? I do hope so. Then grab it. Even small people can make big changes, as my friend Ronald likes to say. I shall do my best. Butterscotch. I've loved them since I was a child. Their only drawback, they don't play nice with false teeth. Hmm, maybe if I just suck it. The ladder leads up to the roof. It will be suicidal to climb up there while the train is at full speed. The wind, the tunnels... No, I'll stay down here. Hmm. A box with a padlock. I suppose it contains tools for the train's crew, maybe for coupling and uncoupling the cars. At any rate, it's positioned so that it's easier to reach from the ground. Matt, have you gone mad? I'll shoot. Hey, my pistol. You'll get it back in Venice. I could have fallen under the wheels. I thought you were a ghost. Ghosts don't exist. They do too. One just flew past the window. Yes, yes, sure. Now get moving. Oh, man. I strongly suspect that the door is locked. No, it's open. Hello? Wow, don't move a muscle, you feathered fiend. Put the gun down, Robert. If I may introduce... Constable Robert Oliver from the Yard. And this is the revered Constable Zellner of the Swiss police, who obviously couldn't control his curiosity. Then I was right. You really do want to lure someone into a trap. That's none of your business. Perhaps that someone recently struck in London. And how would I bait my trap then? With some... <laughs> someone hasn't done his homework. What do you know of this raven's heir? He tried to blow me up. Robert, we don't know who we're dealing with yet. 
In any event, the new Raven is a more dangerous man than the old one. How do you know it's a man? It could just as easily be a woman. Or several men. And anyway, how do you know that it's a new Raven? Monsieur? Never mind. I hope you'll acknowledge that I, as a Swiss policeman, can undertake investigations in my own country. Are we still in Switzerland? I could be your eyes on the train, as long as you're here in the freight car. Oh, really? Baroness von Trebitz told me that she's missing her purse. Baroness von Trebitz? Interesting. Indeed, sir. But it has nothing to do with our case. So I shouldn't concern myself with the matter? Ah, uh, why not? It's your job as a policeman. But don't expect me... There is a... He's a... And what? Locked. What was it? Report.